The last of three successive tournaments, the Princess Suryavanavari Thailand Masters 2020, wrapped up a hectic month of January on the HSBC BWF World Tour. The season so far has certainly made for interesting viewing, with all three events throwing different finalists in four of the five disciplines. Only mixed doubles had the same winners and runners up in Malaysia and Indonesia. In Thailand, however, the final pitted fourth seeds Hafiz Faisal, Gloria Emanuel Wijaja against sixth seeds Marcus Ellis, Lauren Smith. And it was the English duo who hit the ground running, opening up an eight-point lead in the first game to eventually take it 21-16. Faisal and Wijaja came back strong in the second, winning 21-13 to level the match. That proved to be a wake-up call for Ellis and Smith as they regained control in the third, leaping forward 6-0 to never look back. The world number 13 is clinching at 21-16 to win their partnership's first Super 300 title. I think there was a, a rally in the third set, uh, an extremely long one. Um, you know, they probably should have won the rally quite a few times, but we just kind of were really stubborn and didn't let them do that. And you know, got a few more shots back, and I think that grew our confidence in that third end, and also you know took took the sting out of them a little bit more as well. So you know, that's what we kind of pride ourselves on: the fact that we never let a shot hit the floor without kind of trying to get it back. Ung Ka Long reached his first final of the year in Bangkok, following an impressive win over Shi Yu Chi in the semis. The Hong Kong China shuttler faced Japan's Kenta Nishimoto in the finals, who he beat last in 2014, trailing 5 1 in their head to head meetings. And it was the Japanese who made the brightest start, taking charge halfway through the opener to seal it 21 16. However, the third seed was far from deterred as he came back in full force in the second. Ung took a six-point lead in the second to close out the game 21-13 and push for the decider. Despite a sluggish start to the third game, Ung battled past his opponent to win 21-12 and clinched his first HSBC BWF World Tour title. Uh, I'm very happy because <coughs> in last July I lost in the final in the Thailand Open right here in the same stadium and I was very sad uh, at that moment and I, I told myself I have to be the champion next time and this time I really did it so I'm very happy. Japan however did find success in women's singles with Akane Yamaguchi putting the disappointing start to the year behind her by reaching her first final of 2020. The top seed locked horns with Korean upstart An Se Young for the title clash and was completely focused on the task at hand. Yamaguchi took a sizable lead early in the first game and kept ahead of her opponent from then on to win 21-16. The second started off similarly for the Japanese before Ahn finally found her rhythm halfway through. It was neck and neck after that, but Yamaguchi narrowly edged at the end to win 22-20 and pick up her first silverware of the new season. World number ones Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan also reached their first final of the year in three attempts after a hard fought victory over Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young in the semis. And as it turned out, they had to get past another Korean pair to lift their first trophy this season. Baek Hana and Jung Kyung Yun proved formidable opponents as they made a flying start to grab the opener 21 17. The Chinese top seeds continued to trail Baek and Jung in the second until 13 all when the momentum changed and Chen and Jia surged ahead 21-17. The third was another seesaw battle that saw the Koreans start well only to falter after the interval. Chen and Jia used their big match experience to power through in the end, winning 21-15 after an hour and 26 minutes on court. <laughs> the men's doubles final was contested by two unseeded pairs. Ong Yu Sin, Chiu Yi Yi of Malaysia, took on Huang Kai Xiang and Liu Chen from China. 2017 world champion Liu and his new partner Huang drew first blood, taking the closely fought first game 21-18 but their opponents pushed back equally hard in the second to win 21-17 and send the match into a third game. The deciding game exchanged leads numerous times before Ong and Tio finally prevailed 21-17 after an hour and 12 minutes on court to lift their very first HSBC BWF World Tour title. We let them uh, play their game and we follow their, their, the flow and we 
we change it after second set, I think, yeah. The key moment, I think, is when we, we start to enjoy ourselves, yeah. yeah. We don't, don't give any yes. pressure to ourselves. And then, really then, important yeah. because yeah. we really enjoy ourselves. We didn't give much pressure to ourselves here.